It's, it's uh, Art Book Addiction, and uh, we're back with uh, a new review, okay? And today, I have a very special surprise. Not even a surprise, but you, 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 you read in the description, you know what the fuck it is, right? I'm not, it's not even a surprise at this point, but it's a surprise. You get what I'm saying, dude, right? Okay, so... Um, ba -ba. here we go. We have the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex Setai sheets, right? Uh, I believe this is from the first season, right? Not the not not a second gig, right? But um, yeah, uh, I love this show. This show is very important to me. The show. Uh, I remember watching it, like, on Adult Swim, you know, back in the day, like, as a kid, right? And I was remember, like, oh, dude, this is so fucking kick-ass, dude. Holy shit, dude. They got this SWAT team tactical crazy, like, like stealth camo and shit. Dude. I'm like, I watch it today, and it still really holds up, you know? Like, I recently watched it with a friend, and I was just like, damn, dude, this fucking show, dude. This, like, it, damn. Like, production IG, you know, before, like... Damn, dude. I don't think, like, any show has, like, hit the same level as, like, gets, right? In terms of, like, you know, I don't know, man. Just, like, storytelling, animation, everything. Like, like this is, like, it's so, like, there's not like there's nothing like it. You know what I mean? That's And that's what makes it real special, right? You know, like, the movie... I think is you know it's pretty it's good you know it's 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 a classic you know it deserves all the love it gets right but the show oh my god dude oh my god this is like the show that was like damn dude i gotta turn on toonami dude right not toonami uh, adult swim right i'm like i gotta see some more of this shit okay this this is legit and the dub was really good too and Wow, they just they just did a fantastic job with the show. They showed a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of foresight, right? Now, we're going to get to look at some of these drawings, right? Sorry about the noise. Uh, it's uh, JoJo. He's just uh, playing a bit, right? There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, oh. Oh, get it, get it, boy. Let me get the good lens. Yeah, get it, boy. Well, this will serve as the uh, JoJo update for today. Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Look at him go. Oh! Yeah, so if you guys hear some noise in the background, right? It's the kitty cat, okay? He's he's just... He plays a lot, you know? So, this is why uh, I was like... I'm, I have to include him into the videos. But yeah. Okay, alright. That's enough JoJo for today. Back to the... Back to the, the main, exactly. Back to the main part, right? So, go back to the wide, right? So, um, do I recommend it? Hell yes, 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 right? Uh, I love Gits, right? I love, like, if you like Ghost in the Shell, if you like sci-fi, you, you need to watch this shit, okay? Right? Like, like, besides the art book, okay? Like, obviously, you, like, you know, you probably watched it, okay? So, but whatever, you know? Like, fucking, like, give the show a shot, dude, right? Anyway. Um, yeah, and what are the, one of the things that really makes the show really great is that they, they just had fantastic designs, right? That they just, like, you know, they, they, they had the original guy, right? You know, the manga, you know, they had that style, and then, like, they just t took it and, like, boom, uplifted it, you know? Right? And just, like, raise the level of design, like, completely, right? So, yes, I really recommend it, right? It's, it's, it's fucking, it's, it's great, you know? Like, look at that. Right? And the, the Gits art books, you know, are, like, uh, you know, right? Like, kind of hard to get, you know? Like, they, they, they kind of have, they're, like, they're, like, the, 
like they don't have all the art right and it's just like sometimes you just want to like complete package okay and you got to get the set size sheets man you know like i really recommend them you know um they really they they open a whole new door for art books right so yeah um with that uh review portion done right i rec i really recommend it you know get it you know like i like that's it okay done buy it anyway with the review portion done and the the kitty portion done Okay, all right, we are gonna enter this shit, okay? So a uh, sit down, chillax, right? You know, get a cup, get some tea or something, you know, right? Sit down, put me in the background, I don't know, dude. Fold some laundry, right? Let's get in here, right? First of all, good lens, sir. There you go. Let's get in there. All right, so. I had the bad lens before, so now we get to really get in there, right? Like most shows from like the 2000s, right? It's gonna have a little bit of artifacting, right? You know, that's why it has like the little bit of scan lines. But that kind of adds to it because it just shows you what it was like back at the time, you know? And here we go. We have a shot of the full crew, section nine. Here we go. We got, we got everyone. Here we go. We have the ape herself, dude. Motoko Kusanagi. 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 Yeah. Wow. I love her design. Okay. I love her design because it shows so much ass. Okay. Let's not joke around here. Okay. Her outfit is ridiculous. Okay. It makes no tactical sense, but it doesn't need to because she's a fucking android. Okay. Right. And. Like she says, dude, it is a good distraction, okay, from the male gaze, okay? The male, he, she uses the male gaze, okay, to, like, boom, whoop, like, kick her, kick the enemy's ass, dude, right? You know, by showing her, her ass, okay? So let's not even, let's not even fucking, let's, let's not dance around this shit, okay? Her ass is out, okay, and she knows it, okay? You know? Who knows, dude? Maybe she was a guy before, you know what I mean? Right? Like, it's like... It's it's implied that she's had multiple exo uh ex, you know uh exo bodies or whatever it's called you know right when you have a cyber brain you could just switch bodies to whatever you want right you know but I but um what I'm saying is like uh she she was originally uh like a girl right it's implied in one of the episodes you know you've seen the episode where like you know she's like uh, you see like the dolls of the old uh you know exo bodies or whatever you know. What is it called? Like, I, I feel like exobodies is not the right thing to say. Yeah. Cyber bodies? I don't know. But yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Ass out, tits out, dude. If I'm having a female, like, uh, body, dude, I'm gonna just show it off, dude. Right? And it'll distract the enemy, dude, and I'll blast them, dude. Right? Right? Let's see. And then now we have her, uh, what do you call it? Um... We call it gear, like you know, when she's like fully geared up, right? She's not, she's not ass out anymore, right? Okay, she's blast out, dude. She's got fucking her got, she got her gun ready. Great design. Oh yeah, yeah. So we have um, we have the breakdown of uh, each individual part right here. See, and uh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that, like, they, they have this, like, little extra, this this little flap. You know, that's a cool little detail, right? Um, I use Gits um, for, like, like I, I also use them as a reference for the, the way I drew my characters for a while, right? Um, not in terms of, like, you know, I used, like, when I was using, a, for a class, I had to, we had to do Eastern style, right? And then we had to reference... Uh, like an anime to see how they drew stuff and I, I chose gits right because i knew that they had like you know excellent character design excellent like they 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 know how to simplify like tactical gear right to make it look cool right yeah she looking good dude and they have the they have the uh, arm cross out because so you can see the the full section right you could just imagine the arm right you yeah. know here we have her coat design, right? So this is this is the really cool stuff, right? I love the way they simplify clothes in this show, right? Um, it's usually like they're like so normally, you know, if you're drawing a shirt, right? You just do, 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 right. You, 
they they what they do like their principle right what i when i when i analyzed it right is to add a second line right and then add that's it it, it creates a complexity right that is it's just an illusion right you just add a second line to create depth right and then like you you create the the folds and the shit to um we call it align with the the form it creates a new uh, it creates another level of depth right so um uh, adding that extra line so for example right so let's let's say like like oh you're like you're oh i'm like i'm drawing the sleeve right and then like you see see hold on let's let's pretend this line isn't there right and you're like oh but i can't tell like what what how the fabric is folding or what the depth is right and then you add this line right this whoop, right that line right and then that shows the depth right but then you add a second line and then it became becomes like a like stitching right so like right here you see it right here right right here right here right adding that little that second line can make all the difference in a design right so um and like you know buttons like the way they simplify clothes is so cool right so um i really recommend getting it just to have like clothing reference and like gear reference right because the way they do clothing and they, the way they break it down is amazing right there we go we have a we got a little bit of a what we call it uh, expression sheet for a mate for the major right here you go Kusanagi, Major Kusanagi. Look at look at look at the eye design. That's so cool. Okay, here we have a a turnaround, uh, like uh, we call it turnaround of her uh, her head, right? Not like a complete one, but <clears throat> they're showing the form of the hair, right? How it like fits under her head, right? So it's like. So as if it's like almost a three it's a three dimensional form right so that uh it's easier to to place her hair in like you know like you you can know which part of the hair is going where in a certain situation right here you go we have the 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 main the main man araki right or yeah i can't remember Ar aragi Either one of those. The top man, section nine leader, commander in chief, the chief right here, Seto Kaicho. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely from the first season because in the first season it was a little bit more, um, a little bit more stylized, and then in the second season they really like hammered down the realism, right? I feel like in the first season they were a little bit more animated, right? They were a little bit more like anime, and then like in the second season they just like boom, like real, dude. Oh, it's the boy. It's Bato. It's Bato. It's Cyber Eyes Bato. Look at him, right? He's your boy. You know he is, right? He's got his his uh, trademark leather jacket, right? So great. And what I love about his design is that it's all focused right here. Right on his face, dude. It's his, it's just his head. His head is his whole design. Okay, this stuff can just fall away, but you see his eyes, right? You see that nose, and that's it, dude. That's all you need. Okay, that set. You're like you know who it is. It's fucking Bato, dude. Right? Like, look at that. Look at these shoes. Look at the way they simplify these shoes. Right? See right here. A good example. The line and then the inner line. Right? Creates the depth. Right? This is probably obvious for for some for some of you, but like you know, a, a lot of beginning artists that might be watching this, you know, um, adding that second line whoosh, whoosh, to add that depth really makes a difference, right? Um, practice it. You'll 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 get what I'm saying after a while, right? To create like the seam, right? So like, so if this was just the jacket, right? Just the outline, right? You just be like, oh, okay, that's fine, but then you add this seam, right, to create depth. And you add the second line, then it becomes like a like I said, a seam or a or, or stitching, right? And then you could and then it creates a an illusion of um like fabric, right, and depth, right? Bato, 
awesome ass character, man. Love him. Oh yeah, we have a uh, in gear Lato, right? Fucking cool, dude. Oh, we have his coat. Look at that. See, they. Wow. This book, this thing is so great for clothing reference, right? The way they simplify it. Look at that, right? They're showing how the strap goes into the thing, right? Um, let's see. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he closes it up, right, which he, like, never does because, like, why the fuck would you, right? You can't open your jacket, right? But, like, look, they had the, like, that's the intent of the design, right? I guess this closes, like, the little holes right here. It's, it's cool, dude, you know? It's functional. I could see this being worn in real life, right? And that adds to the believability of the show, right? I love... Okay, so I, I feel like sci-fi, if it's when it's too sci-fi and they don't have stuff like leather jackets or like like a hoodie or something, they don't implement stuff that's like, you know, from like modern times, like... Like, because people... St like, like, the t-shirt would be eternal. You know what I mean? Right? Like, people would still wear t-shirts. You know what I mean? People would still wear leather jackets, right? Whether, like, they had, like, crazy cyber clothing or not. You know what I mean? Right? So it's better to, like, implement cyber shit into, like, you know, the leather jacket and shit. Like, like kind of like cyberpunk, right? Instead of, like, going out, like, just overblown, like, sci-fi stuff. You know? Right? You know, unless it's, like, you know, like, something like Mass Effect. Where it's, like, you know, like, in the Citadel. See, they, they have leather jackets in there, too. They have a hoodie in there, too. You know, never mind. No, no they did it right. Okay? Never mind. Okay, yeah, you, dude, you, implementing real clothing, real life clothing into a sci-fi environment just makes the believability, like, shoot up, okay. Oh, yeah, expression sheet. Look how expressive Bato is, right? <laughs> this, they, they never use, this is probably just, a, like, a little funny thing, right? They had fun, obviously, right? If someone could read that, you know, I mean, you know, you could comment down below, right? Look at that. Look at him. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely season one. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. See, they're 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 seeing. They're like these are the these could be the common mistakes where you draw them wrong, right? Kick ass. Love how they have these like really goosey, goofy, goosey, goofy photos or uh, drawings with the uh, like, like, gah, and then like, boom. And it's just like, it's just, it's like, I guess, illustrating that um, it's really easy to mess them up. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We have a uh, Lieutenant, uh, fuck. What's his name? The human guy. The one human. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I'm so bad with Japanese names. But he's the he's the third of the, the trio. The trio, right? What's his fucking name? Ishigami? Yeah, right? I don't know. But he's awesome, dude. I love his character, right? He's so fucking... Ki dude... Think about how badass this guy is, okay? He's, like, surrounded by these crazy cyber-ass cyber bitches, dude, okay? And he himself is just a fucking human, dude, right? Wow. Look at him, dude. Such a great character. And he's, like, he's got a family and shit. I, I, love, I, love, I love the role he plays in the show because, like, unlike everybody else, he has, like, you know, he has... He has so... He puts so much on the line. You know what I mean, right? Because he ain't some crazy cyborg bitch, dude, you know? Yeah. I think... I think this is Ishiga? I don't know, whatever. Itosai? No, I don't know. Whatever, uh, let me think. Anyway. Yeah, th we got the... We have the, uh, com like, the main hacker guy, right? Oh, yeah. Look at see... Like, here we go. Another another thing of that seam thing, right? Have the outline of the thing, and then boom, create the seam. Seam, right? And then if you wanted to make it like a, like a even like thicker fabric, you add the second line, right? 
yeah. Great stuff, man. <laughs> he looks a little silly on this one. That's funny. It's like, I'm very boxy. All the Section 9 people are fucking badasses, man. <laughs> That's right. He's still playing with that shit. Oh, yeah. Saito. One of my personal favorites, right? His episode in, like, season two was... I don't know if it was season one or season two, but fucking Christ, dude. That was, like, that was my favorite episode. The sniper episode, right? So cool, dude. The poker game? Oh, my God. That's just straight up cool, man. If that doesn't get your anime boner going, dude, like, I swear, man. Oh, yeah. And uh, and, and Saito is uh, mostly human, too. He, like, besides um, Ishikami, Ishigami, I don't know. Ah, fuck, dude, this is so stupid. I wish I knew the names. I wish they said it. Yeah, besides the, the other human guy, he is the most human, right? Besides his cyber eye, of course. Which the major shot out. Oh, yeah. We have uh, the other guy, the, the other eye guy, right? I forgot his name. He's cool, though. I like how the, the tertiary guys, you know, like, they, they don't... They're cool, and they don't overstay their welcome, you know, right? Here we go. The guy who's good with the knife, you know? He had the, he had the clone guy, whatever. Cool stuff, man. I don't know what this is. Uh, hmm. We have a mouth right here. Like like the, uh, the way the, the lips are. I think this is for the major. Oh, their eyes, okay. Okay, that makes sense, right? So we could do like a little, like here's the here's the overall eye shape and here's the inner shape, right? And that's how you break it down, right? So yeah, if you're if you guys are interested in uh how uh gets does their eyes, right? When I say gets, I mean Ghost in the Shell, obviously. If you guys don't know, but yeah, look at that, cool stuff. We got the bottom of the shoe, right? Look at they they all have different f f uh, footprints. That's fucking cool. You know? Uh I think this is a key card, right? Yeah. Oh, we have the um Yeah, these are the the like the telecommunicators, right? The 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 people who are like like hacking and doing all the crazy What What you doing? Hey. What you doing? It's going crazy. Sorry about that. Anyway, we got a. Uh, we have the uh, like the, the like the. I think this is the way they look into the net, right? And then they have the telecommunicators, right? That like are processing information. They're all just robots, you know. Yeah, we have the uh, scientists that like you know maintain the the robots, right? The androids, rather. Um, I don't know who this guy is. I think he's like... Probably like a chairman or something. I don't know. I think this is the... Like... The, the, the first episode, maybe? When they have like the... Where they're at the airport? I don't know. Oh, here we go. We have the hacker boy. Right? The... The, uh, what's his name? The Laughing Man. Here we go. 
He's a really cool antagonist, you know? He reminds me of Hacker Man, dude. Oh, wait, hold on. I, uh... There's a... Hidden page. Yep. I think it's like a, maybe a bodyguard or something, or a politician. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The Tachkomas, right? Really cool, intricate design, right? Wow. Woo! Love this stuff. Yeah. Wow. Like, I, it's a shame to have a little bit of artifacting, but, you know, it's fine, you know? Like, you could still see the drawing. So cool, man. Look at that. They got a little guy right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have the silhouette kind of, you know, just showing, like, what the overall shape is, right? Zooming on, like, the, the, the fact that, like, the, the, claw, the hands go, like, whooshing, you know, and then they become, like, little claw hands, right? And the, the, the wheels, right, that they spin on. And the spider bot underneath, white. White. Yeah. Waskowy Wabbit. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the eyeball, and then the zoomed-in version, right? Like, I love how they, they 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 have a simplified, and then they have, like, a, like, when you look closely at it version, right? Oh, they have, like, this little grenade thing, right? I think this is, like, a safety, right? That, could, like, that, that people could take off, like, shunk, and then, like, yeah, now we're, now we're loaded, you know? Cool feature. Right, so you don't have a constant, like, grenade launcher at your face, you know? Oh, yeah. Cool stuff, man. Boom. This one's a little bit better without the, uh, the, the, the uh, artifacting as much. Okay. I think this is like a like a shading packet, you know, like how they how they would light the the touch comas, right? And this is like a uh, like a size comparison, right? His name Kitsuragi? Oh, God damn it, dude. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We have the little, the the little like Ethernet like thing for uh, for the show where you connect your cyber brain right at the base of the neck. Right. It's a cool little plug, right? See, they have like a little, like a little like, ching, you know, it comes out right, plugs in, and then you can hack someone. You yeah. know, we have the major right here showing it, showing off her skinny neck. You know. And then here we go. I think um, this is for people who don't have cyber brains, right? And then they, um, through this, they can create like a neural link, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I guess this is like, yeah, this little pack. On the back. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the 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 zap one. The you know, like take them out. You know, incapacitate them. Crazy hack them. Yeah, we have the the hacking uh, interface, right? The beep 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 breaking through that. You know, breaking through the gate and shit. Hacking to the gate. Oh yeah. Yep, and a little like you know, like I said, dude. When you when you design everything, it makes the world just 
so believable, you know? Like this cell phone, you know? Like it's cool. It has like a little clink clack, clink 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 clink, you know? The designers had fun thinking about, you know, uh, creating cool props, you know? So um, if you're making a prop, you know, like think about think about it in a fun way, you know? Like like think about it, how it, would it be used, right? Use like a real real reference, right? And be like, okay, well, if I made it a future phone, what if it could do this? What if it could do that, right? What if, what, what if I... If like like look at this, like look at this like storage system, you know, it's like a like a mini disc inside of an SD, right? And it's like it's like whoa, like how much storage can that have? You know what I mean? Like look at that, cool stuff, right? We have the packs, right? Little bags, you know, the little little storage areas, right? Cool stuff. We have a weird awkward bato. Let me stand up for a bit. My back's killing me. Like an old man. I think this is a obviously a sniper scope, right? So you could see like like maybe from the uh, binoculars or or through a Saito's sniper. <laughs> obviously now. Yeah. I think this is used in the first episode when they take out the tank, right? Before, um, like, they, they were using this to, like, take out parts of the tank, but then, uh, it, it, at a certain point, it was no good. We have, um, we have the humans, the human, his pistol, right? Fucking cool. I love that he only uses a revolver. Because, like, other guns, like, jam up, right? Boom, 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 boom. Look at that breakdown of how the gun is right let me do like a little a little bit of this action right oh yeah showing the way the recoil is right and the uh the uh muzzle flare oh yeah their rifles so cool it reminds me of um the uh the ones that they the the ones that they have in the British Army the one before the the bulb up one right I can't remember the name it's like the LG or some shit I don't know LG something Enfield oh yeah here we go and then we have the the their uh, submachine gun right which is the oh this is cool right it's right in front of you Just, and you you're ready to shoot oh that's fucking cool. That's actually a really cool design. Yeah. And this is clearly based off the P90, right? Using that as a base design, like an ergon ergonomic shooting, right? Yeah, we have the pistol thing, right? Like, they, they see, they really care about ergonomics. So you could just, like... So you could just reach like, you know, like, whoo, you know. Here we go. Let me uh, do this for, for the screen cappers out there, right? And then you just flip the image yourself, right? Here we have the side view of the, the, the submachine gun, the pistols, right? The revolver, right? Ishigami? No. God damn it. I probably got it right, and like I'm just I'm just doubting myself. We have the different bullet calibers, right? You know the you know four five nine millimeter, right? We got the this is for the um five seven, right? And then you got the fucking large ass sniper round, right? We got the scope again. Now we have the scope. And this is like the infrared vision. Yeah, we got the car, right? We got Bato's car, right? I also love the car designs. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what you doing? Going crazy, boy. You're going crazy, boy. What you doing? Hey, 
I told you he's gonna be part of this channel, man, and uh, I, I meant it, man. Cause he go like that one time he was asleep. That was a miracle, man. Cause this guy, this boy's wild. He's a wild. Oh, oh. He's a hunter, man. All right, back to it. Okay, Bato's car, right? Really, really cool stuff, right? Like, um, I like the way they futurize cars, but not make them look like. Yeah, you know, they they made it so like it's like it looks like a modern car. It looks like a like a natural evolution of a car, and just like little things that make it futuristic, like this line, right? Um, like the hood shape, like that's not usual, right? We have the interior of the car, right? Okay. Ugh. Hold up. The boy is a. He's a messing around in my seat. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Oh my goodness. So feisty today. So feisty today. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here. Get back to it. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, he doesn't care. Oh. I demand the attention of the audience. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry about that, guys. You know, I'm not gonna apologize. Fuck that. That's my kitty. I love him. You're welcome, okay, for getting some kitty content, right? And art book content, okay? That's right. Conceited ass bitch, dude, okay? <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Um, anyway, we have the interior of the car, right? Uh, making it real believable right here, you know? Right? See, we have the, the what they thought about everything. They thought about the, you know, the clutch and the, like the way the wheel is, right? And they like see how they just by making this like a circle thing, right? And just changing like the sh the shapes to be like you know this weird ergonomic shape, right? They make it believable, right? Because at the end of the day, the rest of the car is just a car. You know what I mean, right? So making those little ch shape changes can really add to. Um, how a car looks, right? So they have like this little thing right here, like no, like cars have this normally, right? But the way they change the shape here makes a difference, makes it look like a, like it's from something else, right? You know, cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. Right? You can see how the car is, right? They designed everything, even the seat belts. Yeah, look at that. See, like, just showing the way, like, it comes out. It's it's cool. <laughs> Yeah. More car stuff. Just another car design. More cars. All right, this one kind of looks like an like an Audi, right? Yeah, see, these cars are believable, you know, realistic, and like, but added to like, given a little future flair. You know what I mean? That's how you do sci-fi right. I wonder what what year is it in in the Gits universe? Is it like is it twenty twenty? Is it like twenty twenty something? I don't know. No, you can see my scratch marks. Cause he's a he's a kitty. Kitties um uh tend to are, are tend to be a little bit uh more bitey right because they're teething right so i need to get them a little toy right that's okay they're little love bites you know this kind of looks like a uh, elon musk's car right the uh the, the tesla s or whatever i don't know c whichever one i'm not a huge car guy but i am a drawing guy right and i love these drawings Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so we have a little dashboard right here. You know, like I said, adding to the believability, little bips and bops, right? If you just open it up, shoop, you know, right? Cool stuff. The seatbelt slides out. This is like, I'm, I'm surprised this isn't real. You know what I mean? Like a, just a little, shoop, you know, dispenser. Maybe it's not comfortable, you know, but in the show it makes sense. Maybe they tried that in real life already and they're like, nah, this is not comfortable. Oh, yeah. But the show, they don't they, they don't know that, right? They're, they're animated characters. They probably think it's really comfortable. Also, they're robots. Oh, yeah. Go back to the uh, horizontal. Yep. We have the nice dashboard right here, clean, right? So you can just see what it looks like, right? More bips and bops, man. Bips and bops make good art, dude. Look at all these bips and look at all these bops, dude. Boom. Realistic car. I like the way that it opens out like, whoosh, you know, this is probably like a politician car, right? And then like, there's a, there's a stage with all the audience and shit, you know? We have a van, right? Cool design. See, like, like, you know it's a van, but then you add, like, these cool, like, ergonomic shapes, right? I like I like that they went, like, with the ergonomic route, right? And it's kind of cute, you know? This is kind of like a... This almost reminds me of, like, a Miyazaki car. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of great vehicle designs here. Right? And, like, they're, they're not that far off from real-life vehicles, and that's what makes them cool, you know? Yeah, we have um, like a faster car, like a like a kind of like a muscle car, right? Or a or a street racer. Oh yeah. Reminds me of the old Lambos. Yep. Damn, dude. They have so like they really like because cars are complex, you know. Um, I remember I had a teacher that, like, you know, told us about how complex a car is actually, because he was actually going to be a car designer, right? But then, uh, he became a, a, an artist instead, right? And, um, uh, like, seeing, like, like the, the cars and, how, like, what level of complexity they are, right? It's, uh, you, you have to be very careful, right, with, with, uh, how, how things are proportioned, right? And how things are... You know, if you're, if you're going to make a realistic vehicle, right, you know, for a cartoonish vehicle, it's a little bit more forgiving, right, because you can go kind of crazy. But a realistic video, there's rules, you know, right, like the size of the tires, right, the width of the thing, right, and like how, like how convenient would this be to like, you know, you know, come out of and co go back in. It's like a trailer. I don't know. This looks like a, like a kind of like, like a surveillance truck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. This is real cool right here. Right? It's believable, but it's a little bit like the shapes are a little bit different. It's a little foreign, right? But that makes it cool. Oh, that's fucking cool as shit. Uh, we have the uh, hacking area, right? Where the, where, uh, where the two guys are usually at, right? And then boom. And then like they're like, oh, what's the news? You know, like what, what's the, the hack say, you know? Right. We have the chairs, chair designs, right? They break it down. They break it all down, right? Um, I think this is the, the area into the, uh, like, the Tachikoma area. More vehicles, right? So this one's kind of like a hippie bus, right? But, yeah. Look at how many vehicles they did. It's so cool. Yeah, we have, a like, a TV bus, right? It's like a fire truck, man. Oh, and it, wow, look, it, 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 like, I guess it collapses, right? Or maybe it's, maybe it's just that long. No, 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 yeah, uh, because these are shut here, but maybe they're just shut, I don't know, because this doesn't look as long as this. I think it expands. Oh, yeah. 
I think this is like the inner workings of the, the plane, right? Yep. Yeah, this is their, uh, I think their little helicopter thing. Where they, like, they drop off to do their, their Section 9 activities, right? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Bips and bops, dude. A lot of cool, like, I don't draw this way, but I just, I appreciate, like, I love when people could do, like, these really long bit, like, you know, technical drawings, you know? Yeah, so cool, man. You gotta check out this show. I don't think there's a show quite, like, as well drawn as, as this show, right? Like, I think this is the most expensive anime there is. Like, the in terms of, like, how much they paid to, to produce everything. I think this is the most expensive work that's uh, ever been made. I, I, I read that somewhere. I don't know if that's still the case, but, like, back then it was. All right. Let me, uh... Okay, we have the... Oh, yeah, we have the helicopters, right? And we have, like, the... The, um... I guess the little camera things right here on the side, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Helicopter, right? Helicopter. Yep. Huh. Yeah, that's strange. Like the the we usually finish these things around like the 45, 45, 46 mark, right? But uh that's it for uh for this one, right? So uh like I said, the show, really great, really great, check it out, right? Designs really great, check it out, right? This show is a, a classic, you know. Um this they just I, I've never seen a show quite like it. You know what I mean? And it's it's a it's a hallmark of truth of like really, really, really good sci-fi. If you like sci-fi, I really recommend you watch the show, right? Even just as like a as an action show, it's great, you know? Um but anyway, so uh you know, comment below, you know, talk about the drawings, tell me which ones you liked, right? Tell me how you guys felt about it, you know, got get that discuss discussion going, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, like comment, subscribe, you know, all that bullshit, right? And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Thanks.